Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And please, next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an upper control arm on this 2002 Chevy Suburban. And we show you on the passenger side, but the driver's side is the same procedure. And the items you'll need is a new upper control arm from 1AAuto.com. 10, 21, and 22 millimeter socket and ratchet, an 18 millimeter and 21 millimeter wrench, marker, torque wrench, jack and jack stands, a grease gun, a hammer, and an air hammer depending on the condition of your vehicle. And after completing this procedure, you will need to get a professional alignment done. Start out by removing the hub cap. Now you want to remove the lug nuts. If you don't have air powered tools, you want to do it while the vehicle is on the ground. You just loosen them preliminarily, raise the vehicle, remove the lug nuts the rest of the way, and then pull the wheel. On these brackets, you'll see a tab coming through from the upper control arm. Just mark where that tab is. Now remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Next, remove this 18 millimeter nut. And you can see Mike uses an 18 millimeter wrench and another wrench for some extra leverage to just break it free and then removes it the rest of the way with the 18 millimeter wrench. Now hit the wheel knuckle and control arm to break them free. And then remove the 21 millimeter nuts on either side. Now jack up your wheel, and you want to do this underneath the wheel knuckle, and then remove the upper control arm nut, and then remove these bolts and the bracket that's on them. And our first one pulled out no problem, this one's a bit more difficult, so we try using a hammer, that doesn't work and we try using a wrench to just help break it free but it's in there really good so if you have the same problem we just put a nut back on it and use an air hammer to knock it out now that those bolts are out you just want to move the control arm up and down while pulling out Pull free. Take your new upper control arm and push it back into place. And then push the bolts in to hold it into place. And you want to make sure that you have those brackets on either side and that they're lined up. And now just angle the control arm down into the wheel knuckle. And once it's pressed down into place, just replace that 18 millimeter nut. And we'll fast forward as Mike tightens all of those up.
Now replace and tighten up those two 10 millimeter bolts. Now using a grease gun, just put it into place on the end of your control arm and just fill it up. Put the wheel back into place. And then replace each of your lug nuts and tighten them up. And you want to tighten them preliminarily, lower the vehicle, and then tighten them the rest of the way. And torque each lug nut in a crossing pattern to 100 foot pounds. Replace the hub cap and just tighten up those lug nut caps. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888 844 3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.